Hello, it's Sean. Today I'm going to be working on assembling and painting a uh, uh, a walker, and a Martian walker from All Quiet on the Martian Front. Uh, this is a 15 millimeter game. Um, the uh, idea of the game is uh, it's War of the Worlds, but it's a second invasion of the Martians. They failed the first time and they're coming back and they're attacking uh, some folks put together a game around this idea and this model is from that. I'm actually going to be using this model for um, Alien Squad Leader. Uh, in that game there is a, an army called uh, Martian Tripods. Uh, so this is going to be uh, one of the tripods for that army. So uh, I think it's suitably impressive for that game. Uh, and I like the look of these models so uh, I've already trimmed this out of the sprues I've cleaned up the flash on the the, the model itself uh, I've sprayed it with a automotive primer uh, I sprayed it gray I thought about doing this silver but I think I've decided I'm gonna use this gray color instead and we'll see how that turns out uh, first up is I'm gonna do a little bit of assembling here and then I'm gonna uh, do a little bit of painting. I'm going to use some watered down dark tone. So I have this dark tone from uh, Army Painter. I'm going to water that down, have a nice brush uh, to spread around. Uh, I just want to highlight the uh, recesses. I don't want to totally lose the, uh, the gray color, uh, but I also don't want to spend three hours painting it either. So uh, I'm going to just water it down, spread it around, see how it looks, and we will go from there. My thinned down wash of the dark tone has dried. It's a very subtle um, shading on this, but I kind of like how it looks. Uh, I just wanted something a little bit different. I didn't want it to be uh, quite as pronounced as uh, some other, like a heavy shade would be. So uh, I'm happy with it. Next up, I'm gonna do a little black. Uh, on the barrel of the, the weapon here. It's gonna get some uh, black in it. And then I'm gonna paint the little circle around the eye there, uh, the ring, and then I'll do the, uh, the iris a little bit different. So here we go. I'm using uh, model color, uh, just black. iris of the eye I'm gonna paint first with mechrite red all right next up I'm gonna use some flat red and highlight the eye a little bit I've mixed a little pixie pink in with the uh, flat red and I'm going to use that for another little highlight on the eye. All right, I want to add a little bit more color. So on the weapon here, there's some recessed areas. I'm going to use Gilman Blue in those areas to just add a little bit of color to them, uh, make it kind of look like the weapon is charging itself or something. All 
All right, these tentacles, uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of straight up dark tone and go over them. Uh, they're more flexible than the rest of the model. So I want to uh, have the little segmented sections stand out. <clears throat> Excuse me, stand out a little bit more. All right, because I'm using this for all quiet on the Martian front, I've done a different base than the round base that it came with. Um, this is just a piece of MDF that I cut. It's 75 millimeters by 100 millimeters. Uh, I drilled a couple holes in it for the feet of the walker, uh, and they get pegged in, and it is ready to go. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I spray painted it uh, brown. Uh, now I'm going to cover it with some flock. Yeah, I used three different flocks to get a nice little variation. Uh, I have a dark color. I have a kind of yellowy light color. And then I have a uh, kind of a brighter green uh, color. So I will spread some wood glue around on here, sprinkle it a little bit of dark in places, sprinkle a little bit of the yellow stuff in places, and then cover the rest of it with the uh, bright green. And it gives a pretty nice look. This is a pretty big base, so I might add some foliage to it, like some clump foliage, but I'm not sure uh, if I'll do that or not because then it'll look different than the other bases that I have. But Well, I think I just failed to record me doing this. I just spread the wood glue around, sprinkled on those colors like I said I was gonna, and that is the result. Uh, you can see I still have the holes here uh, for the feet of the walker to go into. I'm gonna let this dry, and then we will glue it all together. Well, I finished painting my Martian Walker. Um, pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, it's a very basic paint job, but sometimes that still uh, is, is a nice effect on the table. Uh, I've added a little bit more uh, highlighting in a couple places, just where these ribs are, and uh, the arms, uh, and then the, the tentacles down here. Those are harder to see, but they're a little bit darker. Added that just to add a little bit more visual interest to the model um, so I've got it attached to the base now uh, again it's a hundred millimeter by 75 millimeter base um, this will be used for uh, alien squad leader a, uh, a tripod army in that game so uh, if you like this video you can give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this and the other projects that I work on, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at Hero of the Table. Uh, if you have any questions or comment, you can put them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.